This is the most crazy study that I've ever read about, and I don't know how we don't talk about this more and how there's not more follow-up for this. Back in 2009, there was a study done on 35 female dogs that found that polyester inhibits ovarian function and actually inhibits your ability to get pregnant. It found that eight dogs out of the 16 that were wearing polyester or polyester blend failed to ovulate and they couldn't get pregnant while wearing the polyester underwear that they were wearing. The other dogs wearing cotton and wool, no issues, no issues. And what gets crazier is that this goes back to the 90s. In 1992, 14 men were followed across 12 months and they were made to wear a polyester sling. And here's the crazy thing, none of their partners got pregnant. They were trying to conceive, they were unable to get pregnant and they saw changes in their sperm in temperature in the volume and essentially the sperm became non-viable during that time and only returned to normal function after the study had concluded and they were no longer wearing the sling. And it gets crazier. They also did this study on male dogs in 1993. And what they found was a significant decrease in the count in the mobility of sperms, an increase in abnormal formations. And after the study was concluded, it was a 36 month study, two of the dogs never returned to normal. I'm both freaked out by this and just so disappointed in the lack of follow-up studies. Like, I feel like this is something that most women and men would wanna know, especially if you're thinking about conceiving soon. And even then, even if you're not, like, I just feel like this should be looked into more and like maybe we should have a woman study, not just a dog study. This is why it's so important to fund more scientific studies in this country, not less, not less.